Solid-state relays generate heat when they're in operation. Heat sinks provide an efficient path to dissipate the thermal energy that is created in the output semiconductor of SSRs in their conduction state to the ambient air and maintain a safe operating temperature. Choosing the right heat sink helps to increase the efficiency and service life of solid-state relays. This video is intended to give you more insights into the selection of heat sinks. The general theory behind a heat sink is to increase the surface area of the heat producing device, enabling a more efficient transfer of heat into the ambient environment. Does your SSR need a heat sink? All solid state relays develop heat as a result of a forward voltage drop through the junction of the output device. Beyond a point, heat will cause a lowering or derating of the low current. With loads of less than 4 amperes, Cooling by free-flowing convection or forced air currents around the unit is usually sufficient. Loads greater than 4 amps will require heat sinks. The heat dissipation effect of the heat sink is not only related to its specification like size, shape, but also related to external environmental factors such as the ambient temperature, ventilation conditions, including natural cooling or forced cooling and ventilation volume, and installation density. In addition, it is also necessary to consider whether the volume of the solid-state relay and the installation space of the heat sink in the equipment matches the specifications of the heat sink. Heat sinks are made of high thermal conductive materials such as aluminum, not only is aluminum's thermal conductivity high, its cost is relatively low. Heat sink performance is rated by thermal impedance. Thermal impedance represents the resistance to the transfer of thermal energy, and it is the inverse of thermal conductivity. Therefore, lower numerical thermal impedance ratings mean more efficient heat transfer. Thermal impedance ratings of heat sinks are based upon natural convection airflow. To achieve this performance, the heat sink must be oriented such that airflow over its fin surface is maximized. Generally, this means the fins should be oriented vertically. Significant improvement in heat sink performance can be achieved by providing forced airflow over the heat sink surface area. Fans delivering relatively small volumes of air can reduce the heat sink's thermal impedance substantially thereby improving its efficiency and, consequently, the SSR's reliability. How to calculate the heat? The heat generated by the solid-state relay in practical applications can be calculated by the following formula. According to heat dissipation reference standard, the temperature of the bottom plate of the solid-state relay, namely the side in contact with the heat sink, should not exceed 80 centigrade degrees. How to select heat sink for your application? In general, the following are the major consideration factors for proper selection of heat sinks. Other parameters and formulas associated with heat sink selection are given below. Thermal resistance is the major determiner of selecting the right heat sink. The thermal resistance of the required heat sink can be calculated as follows. RCS can be calculated as below. The required thermal resistance of the whole system can be calculated using the formula below. The calculation formula of the temperature rise of heat sink is shown like this. ATO offers a cost-effective solution to resolving cooling issues with solid-state relays. An aluminum SSR heat sink designed for three-phase solid-state relays and industrial-grade single-phase solid-state relays. You can also find an optional cooling fan with three kinds of voltage ratings in the accessories drop-down list, available to further improve the heat transfer between the relay and heat sink. Our technical department is also available to help you determine the best SSR and heat sink combination for your needs. Do not hesitate to contact us for any assistance.